Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In today's video, we're going to be solving the system of equations. In this system of equations, we have a particular work problem, which we have to dissect into two pieces, two equations, and then solving that system of equations with a particular method. So here we have our problem. Marie wants to invest $20,000 in two separate accounts. One of the accounts has an interest of 3%, while the second account has a rate of 7%. Marie would like to earn a total interest of $1,080. How much should she invest in each account? So what we first have to identify here is we have two different accounts, right? The first account has a rate of 3%. And the second account has a rate of 7%. Now, the investment in each account is what's important. And since we have a system of equations, we know we're going to have two different variables to indicate what the total amount is that they have. So the first one is just going to be x, the second will be y. And the final step says the interest, right, should add up to $1,080. So here we have the interest. And the interest of the first account is 3% times x. And let's just keep in mind that the percent of interest here is 0 0.03. The percent of interest here is 0 0.07. So in account one, the interest is going to be 0 0.03 times x. The interest in account two is going to be 0 0.7y. Now, the totals here will give us the equations themselves. So we know that the investment is $20,000. So the x plus y should give us 20,000. Then the 0.3x plus the 0.7y should give us the interest rate, which we suppose to be $1,080. So here we have the system of equations. We're looking at it directly. So we have x plus y equals 20 grand. And then we have 0 0.3, 0 0.03x plus 0.07y equals 1080. All right, and now once we formulate these two equations, which I did using the box method, right, we can begin to solve this problem. So if you need to see this box again, just rewind the video and start from the beginning. Take a double I'll take, look at it, and begin your problem solving for the solution set, all right? Now remember, we want to get a system of equations with a solution. So we should have a coordinate of x and y. If there's no solutions, both variables will cancel out. Or if there's infinite solutions, all three terms will cancel out to zero. Keeping that in mind, let's begin by transforming the two terms and augmenting our system. So we have x plus y equals 20 grand. And we have 0.03x plus 0.07x uh, y not x, equals 1080. The first thing we want to do here is get rid of the decimal terms, right? So what we do to get rid of the decimals is multiply everything by the number that gets rid of the decimals, right? Which will be 100. We're going to leave the top the same just so that we can get rid of these decimals first. So the top stays the same, x plus y equals 20 grand. At the bottom we get three x's plus seven y's, and we add two zeros to this number. All right? The next step here is to make two of the terms the same but opposite. Just one set, either the x's or the y's. I'm going to choose the x's personally because I want to make the number as small as possible when I magnify it and make it larger. And 3 is smaller than 7. So I'm going to multiply this top line by the opposite of this term of x. The x has a 3, so I'm going to multiply up here by negative 3 so they can cancel out. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to get negative 3x's, negative 3y's, negative 3 times 20,000 is negative 60,000. I'm going to keep everything the same here because now my 3x's and negative 3x's are opposites. So I have 3x's plus 7y's equal 10, 108, 0, 0. 
All right, that looks about right. Now let's begin by subtracting these two. By adding them up, right? We add up both equations. The x terms cancel out. I no longer have the x term. I have the y solution for the system now. Four y's. And here we're subtracting 108,000 being subtracted by 60,000, right? That's going to leave me with 48,000, right? If you can't see the subtraction is clear, make sure you use a calculator, right? Now we're going to take the four y's and divide the 48,000 to get the value of y. So we're dividing by 4 to both sides. The 4's go away. y is equivalent to 12,000. So we have the y value. And what we need now is the x value. And we have an equation here. We're going to use the top equation because it's the simplest one to solve. So we know x plus y equals 20,000. The solution for y is 12,000. So we have x plus 12,000 equals 20,000. Now to solve for x, we subtract 12,000 from 20,000. These cancel. We have x is equivalent to 8,000. So we have the amounts of each account, right? Account x, again, is the first account that's invested at 3%. x is equivalent to 8,000. And the y is equivalent to 12,000. So our solution for this, 8,000, 12,000, where x represents the first account and y represents the second account.